Hi guys, welcome to the channel. As you all know, we have been learning about the solar system. We also learned that the sun is the hottest star, which means that the sun produces heat energy. Heat energy transfers the heat from one object to another. This week's activity will be a cooking activity. We will use the sun's energy, the heat energy or thermal energy to melt chocolate for a quick afternoon snack. For this cooking activity, you will need graham crackers, chocolate, marshmallows are optional if you would like to make a s'more, and foil. Foil is a good conductor of heat and will trap the sun's warmth. All right guys, I hope you're staying safe. As you see, I have my mask on for the coronavirus pandemic to keep ourselves healthy. So here we have our foil and we have our chocolate. Guys, my chocolate is halfway melted already, it's that hot. But let's see what the sun can do for it. So I'm just gonna open it up, put it on the, put it on the foil paper, and let's see what the sun's energy will do to our chocolate. So we're just going to wait a minute. All right, guys, as you see, Mr. Sun is nowhere to be found today, but it's still really hot. As a matter of a fact, it is 86 degrees outside. <laughs> and look at our chocolate now. It is no longer a solid. It has become more of a liquid state of matter. It's more mushy now. So, as you see, I've set the table with our graham crackers and our chocolate and some water to keep us hydrated in the sun. And my friend, Miss Kyrie, is here to enjoy our snack. It looks yummy, guys. Oh, wow, this is so amazing. Oh. So, even the sun isn't out, it still melts the it chocolate. It still melted the chocolate. And did you know that you don't necessarily need the sun to melt the chocolate? Another way that you can melt the chocolate is just hold it in your hand. Wow, this is so awesome. Nutella? I do actually. Oh, it's good. 